so this is going to be a Taurus Sun Moon and as well rising uh, relationship and love tarot reading a uh, weekly one for February 10th to uh, February 16 2020 and in case any of you guys is interested into a, a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're gonna find a, a link to my uh, website as well a link to your other video of the week which is focused on business and career so with that being said moving into the love and relationship tower reading now the first card here which marks the topic of your uh, love and relationship week that is going to be the six of swords followed by the next one here which stands as a um, energy which is feeding up the topic that is going to be the hierophant afterwards what we do have is going to be the challenges that you will need to face and overcome throughout the week that is going to be the page of cups furthermore what we do have it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy for throughout the week that will be the knights of cups afterwards what we do have it is how people are going to look at you or right? what kind of impression you're going to leave into your suitor into your uh, beloved one you know um, person of interest or a um, friends and family husband or a wife etc etc that is to be the death card and then the last one which is the guidance the tarot is offering here we do have the two of pentacles so those uh, five cards all right so uh taurus uh, first of all here uh, as a uh, topic and energy which is feeding up the topic uh, this week is going to be a week of tests for what it seems. Uh, it looks like that you are going to test your um, your beloved one or your person of interest how much they worth your while, if you will. Uh, it's because you alone are going to start understanding here with the Six of Swords as a topic. It is that, um, you know, once you dive into it, there is no going back. It's like traversing a... Uh, a threshold and uh, from which there is once again no going back and the whole test is going to be you know how compatible is your idea of relationship with their idea it is because the hierophant as the energy it's that's the energy of trust so these energies which are feeding up the situation it is a about how much trust you do have for it, for each other and how much reliability as well you know how much um common topics or mutual topics you do share and those energies are going to provoke a um, quite some of meaningful conversations in between you and your suitor in between you and your beloved one you know or a husband or a wife etc etc just so you can understand can you have a, a benevolent support from them or can you not additionally to that if you are facing a, a troublesome relationship here with those cards then um, those conversations are going to be with a attempt to opt for resolving those issues so you are not uh, how can i say it? you are not being uh, abandoned yet or how can i uh, put it it's kind of like this isn't the uh, this is not this isn't the end of the line all right uh, but also their resolution with the six of swords is going to involve some bold decisions and actions because in that case the six of swords is like making brave attempts to improve circumstances into current relationships or into current marriage and with the hierophant all comes to that you know how much once again you trust each other how much you can share with one another as a, an information and it's, it's all about how strong your love is because the hierophant ultimately especially as the energy card it needs to lead you to the new understanding of love that you do have the true love in front of you rather than something that rather than that love that you fall in love and after two months or two years there is nothing in between you two anymore so if you will this week is going to be a week where you're going to try to answer that question to yourself is this the one or or is this not the one is uh, is this marriage going to last or it's not gonna last and that answer the uh, the answer to that question is going to be different for each 
single one of you okay some of you tourists are going to identify yes it does worth it and therefore you're going to make the brave circum the brave actions or your decisions traversing the threshold to improve the circumstances some of you mm, it's not worth it so you are going to dispatch that you know presumably dead a, a relationship or a, a interaction once again it's all about how do you find is this is, is this a, a contiguous to your expectations i mean that marriage or this relationship or possibility for a future relationship that you can have and don't be afraid of of whatever answer you you find out for yourself guys because the hierophant always especially as the energy always leads you to the place where you have to be where you need to be so if you identify that the person you are with it is not the one then it is not the one, all right? Or if you identify that it is the one, but you need to have a, a relationship with them, then it is the one. If that's not the case, if you if you are not in a relationship, then it's all about the trust, okay? You both need to trust each other. And also, you need to already kind of start empathizing, if you will. So uh, the next one here, it is about the challenges that you will need to face throughout the week. And unfortunately, we do have an, another person that will be the Page of Cups. OK, and uh, that another person, it's emotionally attached either to you or to your uh, beloved one or to your person of interest we can't say whom to so i will try to explain you the page of uh, cups as an individual in term of a, uh, a romance and in term of uh, relationships these people they are feeling extremely miserable when they are not emotionally attached into something and it's kind of like they disregard the the the, the, the lack of uh, the, the lack of compatibility for sake of the overview what i mean is that they don't care if you don't love them they don't care if you don't want to be around them they don't care if you have nothing in common the only thing that they do care is that they have something towards you or something towards your suitor and they are willing to um how can i say it they think that they can change i mean they're they they are finding the uh the incompatibility to be their fault rather than a mutual fault and for that reason uh, what i'm trying to say here is that this person is very difficult to be convinced that things can't happen it's that's the challenge okay to convince them that you have no future together whatsoever because as a challenge here it doesn't look like that you are feeling the same thing that they are feeling as well and if you try to tell them well you know things are not happening uh, things can't happen because it, you are not the, what I am looking for they are going to counter you with well I can become what you are looking for you just watch give me a chance and you just watch but the thing is that they can't okay so these are like uh, chameleons it's like they are uh, uh, they are reassessing their positions and changing their positions as well so if you expect your suitor for example to be uh, someone rich they are trying to present themselves to be rich if you are expecting your suitor to be humble they are trying to present themselves that way but that that's not their nature right and if that's uh in in regards to your uh in your person of interest or in your beloved one that they have someone that it is a third party to them and you are from the solo side of the love triangle well then there isn't much that you can do okay and the challenge here is just wait and see how that thing is going to unfold and develop and uh, if your uh, beloved one or whomever you're trying to get in a relationship with chooses this person in, uh, for you okay uh, or instead of you then you for sure are gonna know that that's not the one right so uh, next one it is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy for throughout the week that will be the uh, knights of cups and we do have another one here uh, but uh, it's like uh, this person has a, uh, a, a like a devotion towards you I mean they're trying to identify are you really 
the uh, the dreams of their heart or are you not the dreams of their heart? That could very well be uh, your beloved one or your person of interest, your wife or your husband as well. And if that's so, then you have nothing to be afraid of in terms of the page of cups here, which is the challenging card, because you are always going to take a priority for the uh, Knights of Cups. Now, important thing to be said here with the Knights of Cups is that they always, uh, how can I say it? They always perform, per perform well and they always behave well as well. Meaning that they are to chase you. They're, it's just there is no second guess about it. And uh, they will try to prove themselves worthy for your love, if you will. Now, the, the, the worst thing about the Knights of uh, Cups is that they are big talkers in the sense of that they promise things with having no clue how to fulfill those promises. But as a gift and blessing, the very least, you are going to have someone that is devoted to you and wants to make you emotionally happy because they are seeing you as, you know, the dream of their heart, at least. For now or at least they are trying to identify that so best thing here it is not to disappoint them okay and how you don't do so well showing them that you can trust them and having you know conversations with them about the future that will play a, a big role into consolidating those emotions and making them uh, long lasting now next one here it will be in terms of how people are really looking at you i mean what kind of an impression they do uh, have in regards to your behavior and in regards to your standpoint and we do have the death card so people are going to see you as a, a person who has a lot of things in flux around them and therefore a lot of things have to be let go of i mean a lot of things basically needs to no longer exist into your life and that will seriously gonna scare for example your uh, your husband or a wife your current suitor which um it's uh, going to kind of like how can i say it going to drift them even more away from that page of cups if that plays a role of third party from the other side of the spectrum here uh, so it's kind of like people are going to be very careful with you you're going to give an impression the one mistake made from your person of interest or from your beloved one or from your from your wife or a husband may be the mistake you need in order to call the shots and just you know kind of like let them go, leave them stranding, uh, forlorn them, and etc. etc. And the last card that we do have for you, Taurus, in terms of love and relationship, is going to be the guidance that the Tower is offering. That is to be the guidance of the Two of Pentacles here. And the Two of Pentacles is urging you not to be as strict as you usually are, but allow some margin of excitement if you will in terms of your current relationship or in terms of your person of interest in terms of your future relationship as well so it's kind of like don't follow a strict rules and strict stipulations because that way it's not going to be really a an exhilarating re relationship but it's it will it will look more like a a, a business deal than anything else so that being said be open for surprises and try to also find a once again a margin of room where those surprises can actually plant seeds and that way uh, you are going to see that your love life can actually be much more exciting than it is right now and if it is exciting right now well I guess you are going to be even more excited than that. Than that. So that being said, guys, uh, this was your uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you're interested into a personal reading with me, uh, all that you have to do is check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase a personal reading. And afterwards, we get to schedule it. And uh, if you're interested into your business and career for the week, you're going to find a link to that video as well below into the description. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.